go ahead. Coach, what did you think of the event today with all the support here? I thought it was great. Yeah, it's fun for the guys to come out. First time to wear their uniforms in this building and uh, just play and have fun and uh, be relaxed and uh, just enjoy time with each other out on the basketball court. But uh, I thought it was a great event. Um, uh, yeah, so he's got, he's ill right now. He's been out for a few days. And so uh, hopefully we, we expect him back sometime soon. And still evaluating, uh, uh, getting a report back on it. But, um, but uh, yeah, he has been at practice the last few days. So we also did, did, did scrimmage on last Saturday. And, and uh, so we hope to get him back soon. This event tonight, obviously you talk about it being relaxed. It's really a chance to connect with the fans and kind of get them ready for, you know, your, your second year. Yeah, this is the first taste that a lot of people have gotten to see the guys. We had a group. The team went to the Bahamas this year and played two games down there. And we had a small group of, uh, of our fans that went with us, some boosters that went with us. So they had seen these guys play before, before the, for the masses that were here. This is the first chance to get a chance to see them play. And so uh, hopefully they were pleased with what they saw. The guys made a lot of shots. We got a skilled team. Uh, I think you can see that from today. I don't know what the stats were, but I don't know if the offense was good or the defense wasn't great or whatever it was, but the ball was going in. So um, we got a chance for that to be a calling card for us. And, but a uh, great chance to connect with the fans. Guys will sign autographs here. Uh, you get a chance to see the guys up close and personal and, and uh, uh, before you get to come out and, and, and support them in their game. Is there such a thing as a finished product today, or does it take maybe, maybe not really finished until... I mean, yeah, doing? no way. There's no way anybody's got a finished product today. If so, wow. I, I think it's a dangerous thing to feel like you'd be playing your best basketball right now. So we're just getting started in this process. We'll troubleshoot throughout the season. I like where we are right now. We were afforded 10 practices uh, because you have the foreign tour in the summer. And so I think we're a little bit ahead of the game that way in terms of our terminology and systematically what we've got implemented. But uh, I think there'll be a lot of growth throughout this team. We're, I think we're at a much... We're, we're much ahead of where we were last year in terms of our starting point, uh, and hopefully we can have as much growth as we did last year because honestly there's a tremendous amount of growth with last year's team from start to finish. Where do you feel like the team chemistry is at right now? It seems like you guys are having a lot of fun tonight. You guys seem to be clicking in that aspect. Yeah, a ton of team chemistry with this group. We have some older guys. Uh, we have some guys that uh, are just all about team, but I, again, that trip to the Bahamas in the summer, I can't say enough about what it does and, and that the guys get to spend some extra time with each other in a foreign land and, and all the things that come along with that. So, um, But it just I think also naturally it's a, it's a good group. They, they, they have clicked and gotten along. They spend a lot of time together. I don't force that. You hope that that happens organically and what this group so far has. So uh, uh, I think that's a huge part of what happens on the basketball court. Some of it's what you do in terms of basketball. Uh, the rest of it is what you do and, and when you have to rely on your teammates. And, and uh, this group has shown that they've, they've had a really good bond with each other so far. Who are, some, who are some of the vets that you feel like have kind of, you know, led that kind of charge of, you know, you know, bonding in that sort of way i mean honestly it's all it's the entire group but it's all the older guys all the older guys they've been around basketball for a long time um and then i think it's a good mesh of older guys uh, uh like uh, bj mack miles studi has been in this league uh for a long time um stephen clark is probably one of our most experienced guys on our team in terms of uh, total starts and minutes played. Uh, and then you mesh that with some of the guys that have been here specifically in uh, uh, the Michi Johnsons and, uh, and the rest of that crew, uh, uh, Jacoby Wright. And so I think it's it's great. So you got a good group of older guys. Our young group, I love our young group. Can't say enough about them. And I think that's really uh, uh, led to just a natural, organic uh, uh just camaraderie with these guys. I thought B.J. Harden been able to come in and make that transition. I mean, at some point he's going to hit a freshman wall, but your yeah. initial impressions of him? He's got a good foundation. He was coached well at the high school level, and so he's got a really good foundation. Um, I just had a conversation with him yesterday about constantly being aggressive. I think, uh, I think right now for him his offense is ahead of his defense, but uh, I want him to continue to be aggressive. But he's got a really good foundation. Um, local guy that had been coached well in high school, and so when he came here, a lot of these things, he's picked up a lot of these concepts pretty quickly. Uh, BJ Mack got in there kind of a little bit later in the game. Is he okay? Is he yeah, he's, he, he had a little uh, uh, soreness and inflammation in, in his knee. We had it checked out. It's, 
it was uh, uh, nothing. It's just some precautionary reasons that we held him out, just to give him another day of rest today, and then we'll be off tomorrow, so he'll get another full day of rest. It, so you, had, you had the Bahamas, now you got Wofford. Obviously, in terms of building for the regular season, I mean, that's pretty too high-profile little, uh, little nuggets of uh, intel. No doubt, no doubt. Those teams that we played down in the Bahamas, one, uh, uh, particularly the team from Lithuania, uh, just a very organized team. And so I like to play teams that defensively have a really good scheme in what they're doing. There's more reliability in what you're getting accomplished on the offensive end. And so I think the same happened with our scrimmage. And then we build into Wofford uh, uh, to be able to play a Division One team in an exhibition situation. It's great for the guys. You mentioned in the preseason when I really improved defensively. Where have you seen the team improve in that? Where do they stand? Kind of yeah, we, we've, we've made a lot of improvements defensively in terms of more than anything our our effort i think that's has definitely improved um and so i still think systematically learning some of the things we have some rules defensively that are staples of what we do and um you know it takes a little time to get familiar with those things and so some guys have picked those up quicker than others but i think our will and our want to defend has definitely improved do you feel like that'll be a big difference when in down in the final minutes of games and stuff where you guys weren't able to close it out last year? Yeah, I think there's no question that our overall organization, I think, is better. I think the reliability that I have in we may I may ask something to be done in a timeout, an adjustment defensively, execution of an offensive play. I have no doubts that the execution of whatever that request that I make is will be performed more consistently just again with older guys they've been around they can make adjustments on the fly they're more willing to do things that that i perceive as important to winning and therefore they do too so i, I think that will be a huge difference between last year and this year again it, it ultimately boils down to the experience factor yeah, I mean, it's a, it's it's a daily, it's on a daily basis. You know, these guys know I, I was serious about what I said. I told them I actually held back a little bit on what I really wanted to say uh, down there. But um, uh, our guys have, our guys are motivated. Our guys are motivated, and and uh, not necessarily just to prove something to someone else but uh, to our fan base also, to themselves, and they're motivated. They're motivated to, to achieve uh, whatever our ceiling is. And if we can reach our ceiling, it's a high ceiling. A lot of work goes into doing that, a lot of sacrifice goes into doing that in terms of maybe what I'm asking one guy to do positionally relative to what he normally has done. Um, from an offensive standpoint, maybe I'm asking one guy to shoot more than he's comfortable, maybe another guy shooting less than what he's comfortable with. Um, but they, this is a motivated group. I don't think, uh, uh, again, I'll be billboard material for sure, but that's been something that these guys, uh, and I, I, I warned them ahead of time that I thought that, that was going to be the pick. I, it's, a, it's an easy pick for people to make, but, uh, but our guys are competitive guys, and, and we'll come out with you. How have you seen a guy like Zach Davis take a step forward in the offseason? Yeah, an activity, maturity, maturity. Zach's, Zach is... Uh, considerably less emotional than he was last year. And so when you have that, you're able to process information that a teammate's giving to you. You're able to process information that I'm giving to you and then turn that into action. And so um, I think that's been the biggest part. His activity has been more solid defensively. Last year he was a, river, I, I used to joke, I called him a riverboat gambler. And so he's learned how to tame that way down. And so, but yet still uses length and athleticism to press the ball and the passing lanes. I think that'll be a strength of his. Um, but I'd say the biggest thing is just overall, he's he's comfortable and he's playing in a much more mature, with a much more uh, mature emotional state of being. Yeah. Journey you've been on. I remember you mentioning how emotional yeah. a moment that's going to be. I know it's not the real thing yet, yeah. but. Did you feel that emotion that you were mentioning? Yeah, I did. It's awesome. I knew he was going to go out there today. Um, we had put him in a couple other situations, and he wasn't certain if he was going to if he wanted to compete. Um, uh, practice has been going well for him. He's able to, you know, the type of kid he is, all he wanted to do was make sure he was able to move enough defensively so that he could continue to contribute to the team. And so um, his, his mind and heart are certainly in the right places. What a great teammate. I would love to have him as a teammate. Um, when I was playing, and so, uh, but yeah, certainly, um, I'll be honest with you, it was more joy than, than I thought it would be emotional from a uh, 
sentimental standpoint. It's more joy than anything. And then mm -hmm. to go out and watch him uh, explode on a dump is just you know, everything that goes into that you know, rehabilitation process when he couldn't get up on his tippy toes for not that long. Ago. So it's, uh, it's awesome. It's a great story. It's a tough injury to come back from. Him. And he's worked really, really, really hard. Coach, what was your favorite dunk? In the dunk competition, um, I don't know, maybe Arden's first one, honestly. There was a lot of things that were involved with it. Uh, he went from one side of the rim to the other side. He did a 180, and he threw a little half min windmill into it. So from a, from a total components that are involved in the dunk, I'd say it was that one. But from, a, from an organizational standpoint, it's clearly Michi out of the stands to Zach. It just takes a lot of coordination. They did it a bunch of times before practice, and it was not easy to finally get one to go down. So to do it on call was great. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.